Memory and imagination are the two key elements of Delacroix's aesthetic thinking. His view of Tangiers is actually one of his later interpretations of his experience in North Africa. In fact, it, it perfectly illustrates um, a statement he made in the 1850s that he had never done anything of any value with his Orientalist experience until he had forgotten all the details. So, so what you have in these later Orientalist pictures, these, these uh, sort of recollections of, of his experience in North Africa, sort of a poeticizing of, of, of various things that are on his mind at a given moment. And you have, for instance, in this picture, a distant view of, of the, the walls of Tangier, which is based on a you know, watercolor sketch that he made at one point in his career. But the rest of the composition is, all, is inspired by things that happened to him much more recently when he was in Normandy. He and his cousin helped fishermen haul a boat up onto a shore. And he said, oh, this would be a great subject for a painting. So he puts that experience into this representation of a North African scene. The boulders, for instance, in the foreground of this picture are based on oil sketches he made at Etretat. So it's, a, it's this combination of, of recollected and experienced uh, memories and sort of a total uh, poeticizing of them through invention and introduction of materials that have nothing to do with the actual experience. They really have to do with um, his, his ideas for composition and his ideas for what would make for a very beautiful arrangement. The story is irrelevant.